Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another different CT video. This is going to be on my SMG build. There'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part. There'll also be a link to my Discord and my Twitch where I stream every single night and a link to the official different CT to Discord. I hope you enjoy the video. Yo, how do we guys? So, the SMG build. Yes, that was the uh, actual start to end of the fight as well. 12.7 something, I think it was. Uh, and we lost like a second and a half, maybe two seconds running backwards and forwards. When I get an SMG, like a good SMG, this is not a very good SMG. We could probably do that in like nine to ten seconds. Like I said, the timestamp's in the description below, so you can skip to a certain part. I'm going to show off the build, like show you what stash you should be getting. Then we'll talk about some clothing and equipment and stuff like that. The minute you enter it, we'll say like the pros and cons to the SNG build. So anyway, your skills. Let's start off with that, skills. Right, me personally, I always have Jogger because I just think Jogger is way better than Sprinter. But yeah, you want Jogger 5, Marksman 5, you know, aim speed, maximum accuracy uh, and range. Submachine Gun Expert 5, Hunter 5. If you're a boss hunter, I am a boss hunter, so I have uh, mute, damage versus mutators, Hunter 5. Headhunter 5 for the plus 25% headshot damage because this is a uh, boss hunter. And then reloading five, because twenty-five percent walk speed, twenty fifty percent reload speed, but mainly the plus fifty percent ammo capacity. And then I have lock picking one because I am prestige one, so I have that extra skill point. Um, if I wasn't prestige one, I'd probably go like one less on reloading, um, and put that into lock picking because lock picking is a great perk. But yeah, so that's the skills. That's why I advise you to get. So yeah, can't really say any more than that. Uh, leveling up. If you're leveling up, you want to go for like Jogger, then um, Machine Gun Expert, then like Marksman, then Reloading, maybe Headhunter, you know, just do it in, do it how you get comfortable, that's it. Because I know people have asked me to go through like the levels, but honestly, it's just go with what you think's best. Uh, me personally, I'd go with like Jogger, Jogger, Machine Gun Expert, Headhunter, Reloading, Marksman. Uh, and then Hunter, because you're not going to be bossing like instantly. So that, that's how I'd do it. I'd level them up that way. But yeah. Right, on to the second part, right? On to the skills and stuff like that. If you Obviously, you want to get... If, if you're using a machine gun, you should be boss hunting. That's all you should really be doing. You, know, you don't want to be using a machine gun if you're just going around killing zombies because it's not very efficient. You can use a pistol, which will save you money on ammo. Or you can use a rifle, which will bomb up everything. Or you can use melee and it don't cost you anything. But anyway, yeah, onto the equipment. So for the equipment, it's kind of easy. Like, you don't really need attack speed because you've already got a crazy amount of attack speed because you're using an SMG. So you want to be going for stuff like headshot damage, maximum accuracy, aim speed, uh, and mutated damage. That's it. As you can see on my Elite Says gloves, I've got maximum accuracy, headshot damage, aim speed, and lockpick chance because I, am a, I do have lockpicking. So for me, them gloves are really good the only thing i'd change on them if i had a chance would be the infection chance surprise damage and knockback distance i'd like to get headshot damage uh maybe some reload speed and some mutated damage but they would be super insane if i had all my wanted stats on one thing um the second most important one the beanie hat I don't really have a great app. I just have some headshot damage and some lockpick chance with a little bonus of some health restore. Like I said, I'd like to get like headshot damage, uh, mutated damage, aim speed, maximum accuracy, lockpick chance. That's what I personally think would be best for an SMG build. Combat boots, just jog. That's all you need. Get the absolute best jog you can on them. Because, well, if you're a jogger anyway. If you're a sprinter, so here's the good thing about jogger. Like, you're never going to run out. You never run out of stamina because you're just a jogger. And like, say with like the boots or something, you're going to want sprint cooldown, sprint duration, sprint speed. With me, all I need is one stat, jog. Jog is a lot cheaper, and personally, I think it's a lot better. Onto the shirt, I've got inventory capacity and minus incoming damage. Because I'm a boss hunter, the minus 15% incoming damage is nice, uh, along with the inventory capacity. Onto the trousers, I've got 18 jog, 22 health. 10 inventory. That's not the best one. Like, we got them for the jog and the health. Uh, I'd like more inventory space on them, but yeah, mainly for the jog and the health. So they're not the best, but they do the job for now. Obviously, I'll get better eventually. Uh, for my secondary weapon, I have my Elite Dragonoff SVD, which has 32 weapon attack speed, 
T5, weapon reload speed. Go like with your secondary, just go with whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with. I like a Dragon of SVD because I have a very, very, very good one. And it's good for like one bopping zombies, just one shot to the head. Um obviously with the uh machine gun you can't do that. With my machine gun, it's very bad. All I have is plus damage. 90% uh, damage to mutated because high-end SMGs are very 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 expensive like very expensive so yeah all right on to the last part of the video this is the, the there's not really much more to cover really the last part of the video the pros and cons to the SMG build the pros obviously extremely high DPS you can kill things very very quickly the bad side to it they're very expensive to run I really am way too poor to be running an SMG, but I do it anyway because, you know, I'm awesome. <laughs> That's, there's no other reason. SMGs are very expensive to run. If you don't have the money, don't use them. Honestly, I'd say make your first character, like, with melee and rifle, so you can one-shot the, you know, stuff with area of effect damage. Like uh, the ones with the flies around them and the burning ones. And then you can melee the rest of them to save yourself money. Um, and then I'd say work on a bossing character second. Max out like a looter first. Then could do a bosser. I did it the other way around. I've maxed out my bosser first. And now I'm working on a looter and I'm highly regretting it. I'm always broke. And I mean always broke. If it weren't for the in-game donations <laughs> from uh, my twitch community i'd probably probably won't be playing the game as much as what i do so yeah thank you to the guys that always you know drop me some cash in game thank you um <laughs> but yeah i am working on my melee build but yeah i'd say definitely do a looter first then do a machine gun bosser if you're going to go the machine gun route um because if not you're going to struggle with money a lot like you are really going to struggle with money but yeah that's my machine gun build that's everything i can really tell you i hope this video helped if it does Drop, give the uh, video a like, subscribe for more videos like this. And also, if you have any questions or anything, like advice on a video or anything like that, or an idea for a video, drop a comment in the comments below. Also, make sure to check the description for a link to my official Discord, where all my community is, a link to my Twitch channel, where I stream every single night, and also there should be a link to the official Death Frontier 2 Discord. So, yes, thank you. I hope this video helped, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Have a great day.